I'm Sarah Kelly. Thank you very much for joining us. The routes and the modes of transportation vary. The destination does not. Hundreds upon hundreds of refugees have already entered Germany in the past 24 hours. Hundreds more are on the way. For some, the connection has been indirect by train from Budapest via Hungary. The lucky ones boarded trains with quicker routes from the Hungarian capital to Munich, looking for safe haven, sanctuary, and hopefully a new life in Germany. It was the chance they had been waiting for. Hundreds of refugees at Budapest Eastern Rail Station boarded trains bound for Austria and Germany. For days they had been camped up at the station, but the Hungarian police stopped them from traveling on. Then, on Monday morning, the police disappeared and the refugees seize the opportunity to head for Germany. Under EU law, refugees coming into the EU have to register in the country they enter. That country is supposed to look after them. They aren't supposed to travel. But Hungary says it can't cope with the influx. Under the strain, EU asylum laws seem to be in danger of collapse. At the border with Austria, the trains ground to a halt. Under EU rules, the Austrian police should have pulled off refugees already registered in Hungary. All those entering the country illegally, they would have to be sent back. But given the sheer numbers, there was total confusion. Now we are actually three hours we were standing like with no space and now we're here just uh, in front of the board and now nothing happens. It's like no police, no one going to control anything and yeah, we don't know what to do actually. Eventually the trains were allowed to carry on and in Vienna too the Austrian authorities waved the refugees through without proper checks. Some people tickets, some people no tickets. And you? I no tickets. I have no money. Many of those on board the trains are from Syria. They have heard that the German government has promised to take in all Syrian refugees, even those first registered elsewhere. This promise has won the German Chancellor a new name among Syrians, Mama Merkel. Then, the arrival in Munich. The relief and delight were plain to see. And then the stories that led people to their epic flight. A bomb car uh, explode and get shot here. And uh, my father and uh, me decided to go uh, out of Syria, me and uh, my brother, my uh, little brother, to get uh, a better life and to continue my study. People also told of the harsh conditions that made them leave Hungary. Uh, we saw the death, like Syria. They put us in jail, they make us sleep, they don't give us food or water. Uh, anyone uh, try to escape, they, uh, they hate us. And uh, the police, like Syrian. And back in Hungary, the next refugees desperate to leave. Police struggled to cope as hundreds more tried to board trains to Vienna. For more, let's bring in DW correspondent Naomi Conrad, who is covering this story from the German capital. Naomi, this has been a harrowing journey for many of these refugees. Some of them need assistance. We heard earlier from, from that authority in Munich that, that some of them are being taken to processing centers. Other than that, are they receiving the assistance that they need once they reach the country? Yes, well, the German authorities are scrambling to give the right kind of assistance. I just talked to one of the spokesmen of the police in Rosenheim, one of the first um, train stations on the way, a small town close to the Austrian border, and he said they were completely overwhelmed. At this point, they'd even stopped checking trains. Um, they were housing some of these refugees, he said, in a sports centre, and tomorrow morning they will be sent on to Munich. But authorities are scrambling at this point. They're very overwhelmed by this influx of refugees and are presumably doing whatever they can to, to help these refugees. 
Okay, Naomi, we want you to stay with us for just a minute because, because we want to continue our coverage of this story. But, but first, we want to bring you this story because German Chancellor Angela Merkel, she has reaffirmed her country's commitment to provide protection for people fleeing war. She warned that the migration crisis was testing the European Union's core ideals. She said that if Europe couldn't agree on the fair distribution of refugees, then the whole concept of the Schengen Agreement, which allows passport-free travel within Europe, would be called within question. Chancellor Merkel was speaking at a press conference ahead of the autumn session of the German parliament. Here's more. A crowd of reporters awaited the German chancellor with some tough questions. Germany is currently grappling with the implications of a rapid influx of refugees. And Chancellor Merkel knows she needs to negotiate quickly to find some answers, even if it isn't her political style. We have a huge nationwide challenge ahead, and it affects all of us. It will be a central challenge not for the coming days or months, but for the unforeseeable future. And that's why it's important that we say that German efficiency is terrific, but we need German flexibility now. Merkel was unusually empathetic toward those fleeing persecution and exceptionally harsh in her reaction to German xenophobia. We are against those who call on demonstrators to join in with their hateful slogans. There will be zero tolerance for those who put the dignity of other people in question. Merkel said she wants quicker processing of refugees with so-called registration hotspots in Italy and Greece to improve the distribution of migrants within the EU. The chancellor reminded Germany's European partners of their obligations. If Europe fails on the question of refugees, if this close link with universal civil rights is broken, then it won't be the Europe we wished for. In the face of such great challenge and uncertainty, Chancellor Merkel managed to make one thing clear, that she would do her best. Let's bring back our correspondent, Naomi Conrad, for some insight on, on the chancellor's rhetoric. So, Naomi, we just heard there are a lot of words in support of refugees and migrants in Germany from the German chancellor. But we haven't seen an exact plan. And you said yourself earlier that officials are scrambling. So what is the plan that Germany has? Well, the plan at the moment is very ad hoc. I was at the press conference this afternoon where Merkel called for greater, as we heard, flexibility. She was referring to housing requirements when it comes to coming up with new shelters for refugees, say, for example, requirements um, when it comes to insulation or building materials. So she was saying they should... Uh, be, you know, they should be changed, there should be more flexibility, but there's also a monetary plan. Um, they, she, the government is going to help towns and communities financially, the ones struggling with this influx of, of refugees. So very much an ad hoc plan, but also quite concrete proposals to come up with more housing and more help for communities. How about the rest of Europe, Naomi? Um, we know that there's going to be an emergency summit. I believe it's taking place in two weeks. That, that seems like a long time from now. What does Germany want to see from its European partners in all of this and what exactly needs to be done? Germany wants its European partners to help to share the burden. Um, Angela Merkel said, and this is something that the European Commission has actually been calling for for quite a while, she wanted an EU-wide quota system. So she wanted other countries, particularly Eastern European countries, but also the UK to take in more refugees. And then also that's something that we've been talking for for quite a while now, a couple of days, registra registration centres in the hotspots in Italy and Greece. So quite a raft of proposals, but there's also a lot of opposition to this within other European countries. A lot of work still needs to be done. This situation is by far not under control. Naomi, thank you very much.